MA1 Part A The Nature and Purpose of Cost and Management Accounting Chapter 2 Introduction to Management Information The topics that this presentation will cover are 1. Data and Information 2. The Purpose of Management Information 3. Reports for Management 4. Sources and Categories of Information 5. Management Accounting and Financial Reporting 6. The Limitations of Cost and Management Accounting 7. The Trainee Accountant's Role in a Cost and Management Accounting System 1. Data Data is the technical or scientific term for facts, figures, and measurements. Data is the raw material for data processing, because for data to be useful, it needs to be processed further. Once raw data is processed, it turns into meaningful information. Information Information is data that has been processed so that it is meaningful to the person getting it. Information is anything communicated, in other words, given to someone else. Management, is the term used to refer to the people who are in charge of running a business. Therefore, management information, is the type of information that is given to the people in charge of running a business. For a business to run successfully, management needs to make good decisions. Management information is vital to help a business, make those decisions. Management information can be classified as financial, in terms of money, or non-financial, in terms other than of money. 2. The purpose of management information is to help management manage their resources efficiently and effectively. In order to do that, the information needs to be reliable, up-to-date, and relevant. Management information also has the following purposes. To aid in planning. It is used to plan the resources that are needed and how they will be used. To aid in control. Once a plan has been made, there needs to be control over the business activities to make sure that they are carrying out the original plan. To aid decision making. Decision making involves a choice between alternatives, information will enable management to reach an informed decision. Stop the lecture. Answer the question on page 24 of your interactive text study guide. 3. For management information to be useful, the person producing it, needs to understand the needs of the end user and of the business. The reports to managers should help them manage the resources that they are responsible for, and give the required level of detail. If there's not enough information on the report, it may fail to highlight problems. If there's too much information on the report, then the most important information may not be seen. Gathering reporting information requires the cooperation of the end users, which are managers and supervisors. The accounts department, which usually processes the information, and the information technology, IT, department, which usually sets up and makes changes to the computer systems. The qualities of good information are the following, and can be remembered using the mnemonic acronym, Accurate. A. Accurate. C. Complete. C. Cost beneficial. U. User targeted. R. Relevant. A. Authoritative. T. Timely. E. Easy to use. Stop the lecture. Answer the question on page 26 of your interactive text study guide. 4. Data and information can come from many sources, internal and external. An information system should be able to capture the information and data, no matter the source. Internal Information Capturing data or information internally involves A system for collecting and or measuring transaction data Informal communication of information between managers and staff And the communication between staff at all levels The following are sources of internal data Accounting records hold information that has great value for those outside the accounts department. In order to maintain the integrity of the accounting records, a business needs control over transactions. These controls also give rise to valuable information. 
businesses' record information in order to help them carry out operations and administrative functions. They record information about personnel which is also linked to the payroll system. Information is also produced by the production department about its various activities. Service businesses will need detailed records of the time spent of various activities, to justify fees and to gauge efficiency and profitability. Information can even be obtained by staff whether informally, or by means of meetings, interviews, or questionnaires. External Information Capturing data or information externally, could be a routine task, or collected on an informal non-routine basis. Routine formal collection includes the following. Information about the change in tax law and how it affects the company is gathered by the business's tax specialist. Information about a new law on health and safety at work or on employment regulations is gathered by the business's legal expert, or the company's secretary who then passes it on to the managers affected by it. Information about research and development done in other businesses is gathered by the research and development department. Information pertaining to market research is gathered by marketing managers. Non-routine informal data and information gathering from the environment is ongoing, both consciously and unconsciously, for example, exposure to the media. The following are sources of external data. Information from suppliers and customers. The government. Advice or information bureaus. Consultancies of all sorts. Newspaper and magazine publishers. Specific reference works which are used in specific lines of work. Libraries and information services. Businesses use each other's systems as sources of information. Electronic sources of data. Information from the Internet. Stop the lecture. Answer the question on page 28 of your interactive text study guide. 5. Computer systems and coding structure, help sort information into categories and formats, that are needed for both financial and management accounting. In most businesses, the accounting information is keyed into a computer system, and therefore the coding structure, the chart of accounts, for the system needs to be set up to provide information in the categories required. For example, if the business is divided into different units, the cost and income need to be coded to the correct unit. Any errors in coding will lead to inaccurate information. Cost and Management Accounts With management information there are no external rules governing the format or the content. The information needed for management accounting is distributed internally for business use only. There is no legal requirement to prepare them. They are recorded and presented in a way decided by management. Management information looks at past and future data, for planning purposes. It includes both financial and non-financial information. They are used to help management with planning, control, and decision-making. Financial accounts. The information for financial accounting is used for external reporting. There are legal requirements for limited companies to prepare and presentation is dictated by accounting standards. It is only concerned with past data. It also only includes financial information. It details the business's results over a period, usually a year. 6. For cost and management accounting information to be useful, it needs to contain certain characteristics. If they do not then it limits its usefulness. The following are limitations to cost and management accounting information. The reliability of information, the information is only useful if it is reliable. The frequency of information that is reported. If the information that is needed, is not received when it is needed, it is not very useful. The lack of communication between the manager and the cost and management accountant which leads to the information not being the type or in the format the manager needs. Comparison data, care needs to be taken when comparing data, because if prices change the comparison is no longer valid and therefore no longer useful. Completeness of information, if the information is not complete that limits its usefulness. Difficulty of estimation, management will want estimates of future information, in order to aid in decision making and planning. Estimation of future information is difficult to make with a high degree of accuracy. Avoid the use of accountancy jargon, 
because most managers are not accountants and will not understand the accounting terms used, and the information will not be very useful to them. Inclusion of non-financial information, when planning and making decisions, certain information needed will be non-financial, so that type of information will need to be part of the cost and management information that is provided, to management. Other limitations include, difficulty in establishing relevance of different cost and also calculating the cumulative effect that a number of decisions may have. In a cost and management accounting system, the role of trainee accountant is to provide answers to questions on cost and revenue. A business must have a cost accounting system capable of analyzing cost info quickly and easily, so that the trainee is able to access the information that is needed. If a trainee accountant knows all about the costs incurred or the revenue earned, they will be asked to assess how profitable certain products or departments are. Review the cost of products and use the information to evaluate the impact of a range of selling prices. Value the inventories of goods which are unsold at the end of a period. A trainee accountant may need to provide information on future costs of goods or services. This is an integral part of the planning or budgeting process. Comparing current cost with budgeted cost and highlight the variances. Produce regular performance statements and distribute them to the relevant personnel. Therefore the role of trainee accountant is varied. This is the end of Chapter 2. What will follow next is the quick quiz. After the quick quiz, do the online questions for Part A, Chapter 2. Quick quiz. Question 1. Two statements follow about information. 1. Information is the scientific term for facts, figures, and processing. 2. Management information is information that is given to the people who are in charge of running an organization. Are the above statements true or false? A. Both statements are true. B. Both statements are false. C. Statement 1 is false but statement 2 is true. D. Statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false. Question 2. Which one of the following is not usually considered to be one of the purposes of management information? A. Implementing. B. Planning. C. Control. D. Decision making. Question 3. What is the main factor to consider when designing a management report? A. The needs of the user. B. The length of the report. C. Confidentiality. D. Need handwriting. Question 4. Which one of the following qualities of information does not appear in the mnemonic accurate? A. Accurate. B. Communication. C. Complete. D. User targeted. Question 5. Which one of the following sources of information would usually be an internal source of information for a business? A. The government. B. Tax consultants. C. The internet. D. The receivables ledger. Question 6. Two statements follow about the format and content of information. 1. There are no external rules governing the format and content of management information. 2. There are no external rules governing the format and content of financial information. Are the above statement true or false? A. Both statements are true. B. Both statements are false. C. Statement 1 is false but statement 2 is true. D. Statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false. Question 7. Which one of the following questions would not normally be answered by the trainee accountant? A. What has the cost of goods produced been? B. What have revenues been? C. What should our business strategy be for the next five years? D. What has the cost of operating department A been? After doing the quick quiz, do the online questions for Part A, Chapter 2. Do the questions, until you achieve 80%. Replay the lecture as needed.